Tell you what, Guardian. You watch this video, and then go make everything in Destiny 2 explode. I'll make that deal. i make that deal. Damn good deal. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have a pretty explosive Destiny 2 video. It's going to be using all three solar classes. So the Titan, the Hunter, and the Warlock. I didn't want to leave anybody out. So we're going to start off with the Warlock. For this build, you're going to need the Skyburner's Oath which is an exotic scout rifle, and the Dawn Course, which is a exotic helmet. Your primary and heavy weapon are up to you, but I'm using my hothead and I'm using my pardon, pardon our dust. Now, what makes these two exotics interact with each other is mainly down to the Dawn Course. Basically, a few updates ago, they made this helmet do Scorch, and that was a bad thing for your enemies anyway. So when you do your Dawn Blade, it puts Scorch on the target and they deal more damage. Now that's all well and good. If it was, if it just did that, you'd be, you'd be all right with it. But it also says you gain a small amount of melee energy each time you Scorch a target. Now that's, that's interesting because it so happens that the Skyburner's Oath, Bungie also changed this to do Scorch damage when you fire from the hip. I think you can see where I'm going with this. And yes, 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 it does absolutely work together. So when you burn people with your Skyburner's Oath, it gives you melee energy, a lot of melee energy. Then you can, I'm doing my finger snap for the Warlock, but you can also do the, do the other uh, melee ability as well. But once you do that, after you get them burning and scorched, it'll make them explode. So it's just a constant, like you shooting your enemies, getting back in melee energy, snapping, blowing them up with the, uh, with the uh, Ignite, and it's a nice rhythm going on with this. By far, out of the three classes, the Warlock is my favorite. Now you're probably thinking, how do you follow that up? How does the other two classes compare to the Warlock? You've already, you know, you've already showed us the best. Let's move on to the Hunter. I didn't leave the Hunter out. So over on your Solar Hunter, you're gonna use Tiku's Deviation and the young Amhamkara's Spine. Now I will note, before I get into the build, you don't have to use this armor exotic. There's a few other solar exotic you can use. I just like throwing grenades because that's kind of what the, this build's about. But just as a quick note, so going into this build, it's mainly down to the bow and the way your abilities interact with each other. It's not so much the armor that you wear. So for the Tiku bow, when you fire from the hip, it, it marks targets with tracking shots. And then when you aim down sight, and you shoot the people that are glowing after you fire from the hip, they explode. Now that does sound, you know, pretty, pretty cool, right? Pretty cool bow. But for some reason, the tracking shots on this bow count as a ignition. I don't know why. So basically, you find a group of enemies, you fire from the hip, it, the bow tracks out, it damages them, then you aim down sights, and you blow them up. You basically do what the bow wants you to do but when you do that as you can see on screen it charges up my grenades gamble so you get a free grenade that you can throw out and blow up more people with it and the bow tracks the grenade so you don't even have to re you only have to aim on the on the grenade you can just throw it out fire from the hip they explode and then aim down sights and then blow them up again so all this kind of all builds up to you just throwing up to two grenades every couple minutes depending on what adds you find. And then I'm using the exotic armor to give me bonus scorch and bonus damage on the trip mine grenade. Now, mind you, you can swap that out for whatever you want to use, but I'm just using this this way. And you probably guessed it, I'm using the hothead and the pardon our dust as our primary and heavy. You can swap those out completely up to you. So that's kind of the interaction with the hunter. You're using the bow, you're charging up your gamble, you're throwing out the gamble, blowing everybody up. Uh. Rinse and repeat. You can also do your throwing knife. That also counts as a as a ignition. Now going on to our last character, the Titan. I'm gonna be honest. The Titan is not as ability heavy as the Warlock and the Hunter. I kind of slacked on the Titan a little bit. I'm sorry for any Titan mains, but this build is very simple. You put on the Path of the Burning Steps, which give you a damage buff for 10 seconds, up to four stacks on solar final blows. And keep in mind, after you get the buff, you can swap to a different weapon. You don't have to use your solar weapon. 
You can use your heavy, you can use a grenade launcher, you can use whatever. And the weapon that I'm going to be using with this build is going to be the twice reformed Sunshot Hand Cannon. If you guys haven't gotten yourselves a Sunshot, I implore you to do so. This thing deletes red bars like you wouldn't believe. Basically, a run down the Sunshot, kill a red bar. They will explode scorching anyone that is unfortunate enough to be in the vicinity and will probably make them explode and all of those explosions count towards your firewalker buff so you can easily just kill one ad get your firewalker to times four and swap off to something else and do a lot of damage and that's kind of it uh yeah there's no like big interaction with the titan unfortunately it's just blowing people up and getting the firewalker buff so sorry my titan boys I failed you. Type in the comments down below if you found a better combination for the Titan, for the Hunter, for the Warlock to kind of keep up with this explosion kind of theme I have for the video. And let me know. Maybe I'll try them out for the next, for the next video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.